Good afternoon and welcome to Acme Sports. This afternoon, Acme Sports features the Arlington Spy Ponders High School Varsity soccer team against the Wakefield Warriors. Wakefield has started with the ball. And it's passing in the midfield. Wakefield challenge effectively there by Mustafa Ayad to Miles Lehman. Wakefield regains possession. And is controlling the ball. Wakefield started in what looked like a 4 1 2 3 formation. And you see there the ball goes out of bounds. Big throw in there by Phineas Santello. Forward and unfortunately off of Mustafa Ayad. Mustafa Ayad, number four, one of the three senior captains for the Arlington Spy Ponders. He already has three assists on the year. The Arlington Spy Ponders come into this game with a record of 2 0, having already defeated Watertown and Melrose, both by a score of 3 1. Uh, Wakefield keeper sends the ball forward. And a throw in for Wakefield. Quick throw down the line. Challenge there by Lloyd Cleary. Phineas Santello comes from behind to take the ball away. Lloyd Cleary gets it up to Francesco Velagusa, scored his first goal of the year in the last game against Water uh, Melrose. Mustafa, Good. back to Phineas Santello, Phineas to Mustafa, to Lloyd. The Arlington Spy Ponders have been effectively working giving goes this year. We will watch to see if that continues today. Throwing for Arlington, Phineas Santello puts a big ball into Francesco Valagusa and he earns a corner kick for the Spy Ponders. <laughs> corner kick to be taken by left-footed Mustafa Ayad. Max McCursey, number 24, center defender coming in. To use his height. Ball out to number six, Miles Lehman. He challenges, continues to have the ball, left footed cross into the box. Excellent opportunity for this by Ponders. Francesco Velagusa not able to put the volley on frame. Lehman, nice ball over the Wakefield defender, regained it himself, decided to take a shot with the goalie out just a little bit. Adrian Black contains the ball, back heel, give and go between Lloyd Cleary, Phineas Santello, Phineas Santello, big throw in. Forward to Mustafa, and again, a corner kick is earned. Max McCursey, number 24, comes in. Ball in tight for Phineas. Back out to Mustafa. He crosses it in a second time. Good effort there by Max McCursey. Arlington's had a couple of chances already. Unable to convert. Peter Mitri challenges from far outside his right back position. Last game against Melrose. 
for the first time in his career, as he reported, Peter Mitri earned a yellow card. Normally a very sure and clean player. Balls forward to Francesco Valagusa. Francesco tries to cross it to Miles Lehman. That ball chipped forward by Francesco's brother, senior co-captain Tommaso Valagusa. There are two sets of brothers on the Arlington Spy Ponders. Adrian Black, defender, number 23. His brother Don Black, also on the team. Dom a reserve, often comes in there with the winger position. And starting for the team right now at striker, Francesco Valagusa, his brother Tommaso Valagusa is a center midfielder. Both very talented players. Strong strike taken by Wakefield, not on track. Nice commentary, Mark. Ben Wasco, the keeper for Arlington, gets the ball forward to Francesco. Francesco touches about to Lloyd Cleary. Lloyd Cleary up to Mustafa. Mustafa forward to Miles Lehman. Miles Lehman's got the ball. Foot nice touch forward, cuts it back, and takes a shot. All right. Good effort for the Spy Ponders. Wakefield manages to keep the ball in. Lloyd Cleary smartly plays it back to Max McCursey. Max McCursey, Clint Garahan, Clint to Tommaso, Tommaso to Lloyd. Lloyd looking for the through ball, up to Phineas Santello. Phineas Santello has it, he's using his speed to cut in. Gets the ball, oh, was not able to get there prior to the ball going out of bounds. Hot day today here in Arlington. Temperature is expected to reach somewhere around 84 degrees. Of course, on the artificial turf, you can always add five to 10 extra degrees that the players are dealing with. Wakefield keeper to take the goal kick. Phineas controls it to Mustafa, Mustafa to Miles. Nice give and go with Francesco. Goes for the left-footed oh, ball. Good idea. Good idea. Hey. Arlington is keeping the pressure up. Miles Lehman has the ball. Loses it in traffic, regained by Tommaso Valagusa. Clint Garahan does what he's been doing very well this year using his track speed to step in front of players. Clint to Mustafa to Tommaso. Adrian Black touches it to space, gets it over to Phineas Santello. Phineas senses the pressure, gets it to Tommaso Valgus in the middle. Tommaso survives a tough challenge. Francesco gets it forward to Miles Lehman. Miles heads towards the goal, cuts back, and now takes a shot to the far post. Santello heads it back in. Francesco Valagusa on the ball. Challenged by the Wakefield defenders. Wakefield's center backs are both quite tall. It will be tough for Arlington today to get anything over the top of them. Fifteen minutes in, no score. The Wakefield Warriors against the Arlington Spy Ponders here on Acme Sports.
Dimitri with the ball to Tommaso Valagusa. As has been mentioned before, a number of seniors on the Arlington Spy Ponders have played together for many years. Among those on the field, Francesco Valagusa there heading the ball. Miles Lehman, number six, there with the ball. Mustafa Ayed. Clint Garahan, number three. Peter Mitri, number two. Phineas Santello, number eight. Uh, offsides. Wakefield plays a quick ball in. Looks for long ball forward, challenged by Peter Mitri. Wakefield defender has gotten by. Lloyd Cleary, good anticipation. There to support Peter Mitri. Lloyd Cleary, number 13. Called for a foul. Lloyd is a tough tackler. Arlington needs to be careful here. Last year, their Achilles heel was set pieces. Good ball chipped in and well headed out by French, uh, Tommaso Valagusa. In this announcer's opinion, Tommaso Valagusa is the best on the team at tracking balls in the air and making an effective header. In the first game against Watertown, Mustafa Ayed connected with Tomasa Velagusa for our header goal off of a direct kick. Adrian Black. Controls it forward to Miles Lehman. Miles gets it to Tommaso Valagusa, being challenged strongly by Wakefield. And Clint Garahan decides that he's seen enough of the ball back there. Moves it forward looking for Francesco Valagusa. Mustafa Ayad challenges. Francesco gets the ball up to Miles Lehman. Miles looking for a cross here. Cuts it back to his right, sends it in. Looking for Lloyd Cleary. Vinny Santello has it. Touches it back to Peter Mitri. Oh, misses him. And now Wakefield's off to the races. Max McCursey looks to challenge. Adrian Black. Follows up on the challenge and Wakefield is offside. Looked like a good three yards offside. That was an easy call for the officials. Max McCursey to take the goal kick. Goes long, looking for Mustafa Ayad. <laughs> Pink air hand. Nice ball out to Tomasa Valagusa. Tries for a nutmeg, not effective. And nice play! Nice tackle by Clint. Peter Mitri, good poke tackle, gets the ball forward. Tomasa Velagusa has it, turns. Miles Lehman controls, back to Clint Garahan, and once again, Clint, having seen enough, sends it long. Field dribbling, poked out of bounds by Clint Garrett. No. <laughs> 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 Carlin 
Everton yeah. started strong. 20 minutes into the game, having not scored. Looks like the energy has flagged a little bit. Coach Lance Yadzio has brought in a substitute. Andreas Cuiar has come in for Lloyd Cleary. At center midfield, Ben Wasco has the ball. Ben is capable of very strong punts. You see one here. Arlington unable to control it. Wakefield going the other way. Has numbers. This player has shown that he will shoot for Wakefield. And Arlington does a good job of making sure that the Wakefield attack is having a hard time penetrating the 18 yard line. Andreas Cuiar takes the ball, looks for the ball forward to Miles Lehman. Just a little too much on that one. Quick throw in by Wakefield, that seems to be their style. Adrian Black sees the ball go through his legs to a charging Wakefield player. And Ben Moscow able to handle the bouncing ball. Another good punt by, punt by Ben. Mustafa Ayad looks at the ball, gets pushed over with two hands by the big Wakefield center back. Looking to play in quickly. Mustafa gets the ball to Miles Lehman. Miles controls it. Senior co-captain Phineas Santello extols the Arlington players to play on the ground. That is indeed where they had the most success playing against Melrose. And seeing the size of the Wakefield back line, it looks like they will not have an easy time getting it past them in the air. Peter Mitri with the ball to Phineas Santello. Peter Mitri moves forward. Phineas sends the ball up to Mustafa. They look for the overlap. Mustafa pulls it back. Cross ball into Francesco Valagusa. Good effort. Big throw in by the Wakefield keeper. Miles Lehman gets back. Francesco, Tommaso Valagusa looks to challenge. Glenn Garahan gets the ball. And Ben Wasco uses his height to pull that one in over the Wakefield attacker. So Melagusa has the ball. Loses it. Van Garahan now trying to earn it back. Mustafa Ayad wisely turns it into the Wakefield player and earns a throw in for Arlington. Subbing in now is Tiago Gomes. Summing out Mustafa Ayad, Tiago sophomore, number 25. He and the younger Valagusa, Francesco, both starting, um, both varsity sophomores. They've played together uh, for a number of years for the Arlington Town teams. Andres Piar. Heads the ball. Wakefield maintains control. Tiger Gomes looks to challenge. Phineas Santello has the ball. Gets it forward. Out to Andreas. Andreas to Francesco. Francesco looking for Phineas Santello on the side. Phineas cuts it back. Francesco brings the ball in. 
And great effort by Francesco Valagusa. Took the shot hard enough that the rebound went to him. Second effort was able to put it away. Nice work by the Arlington Spy Ponders who take a one nothing lead with approximately 20 minutes left in the first half. Ball out of bounds, goes to Arlington. Dom Black, brother of defenseman Adrian Black, comes into play right wing. Phineas Santello steps out for a break. Taga Gomes gets it up to Francesco Valagusa. Francesco's loose again near the box. Has it in the air, looks to cross it, and cuts it back. Taga Gomes has the ball to Don Black. Don Black touches it forward to Francesco. Francesco back to Dom. And Wakefield touches it out of bounds to stop the attack. A looping throw in by Don Black. Headed softly to the keeper. Wakefield does seem to look for quick throw ins. Both on the sidelines. And by their keeper. Foul call there on Tommaso Velagusa. Wakefield again trying to get the ball in fast. Moved a little too fast there and had to bring it back. Tiago Gomes called for a trip as the Wakefield player attempted a spinning dribble. Right here for Wakefield. They sh choose to go long, and it goes harmlessly out of bounds. It looked like the Arlington keeper, Ben Wasco, was tracking it the whole way. Based on the positioning of the ball, apparently offsides was called first against Wakefield. Good ball forward to Don Black. Chicago Gomes looks to challenge, as does Peter Mitri. Wakefield plays tough against it, maintains possession. Looking to cut and spin. Passes it squarely to the middle. Challenge there by Andreas Cuiar. Wakefield chooses to pass back. Tommaso Valagusa moves forward. Strong tackle by Wakefield. Now in at left wing is Griffin Blotch, number 14. Max McCursey challenges, controls the ball well, gets it forward to Miles Lehman, who's playing striker now. Miles tells Don Black to go forward. That may have been a handball, but was not called. Max McCursey called offsides for being offsides, then coming back to get the ball. Wakefield again, trying to move it quickly, is told that they need to slow down and bring the ball back. Miles Lehman looking again for Don Black. Don Black uses his speed. Gets to the corner. A nice effort to cross it, just unfortunately out of bounds.
Goal kicked by the Wakefield keeper. Sent out of bounds, thrown for Peter Mitri. Peter Mitri looks to Don Black to control. He does. Touches in the middle to Tiago Gomes. Back to Peter Mitri. Peter to Tommaso in the middle. Miles Lehman looking for Griffin Blotch. Tommaso with the ball. Gets knocked over in the middle. And while that looked like a, a tough push to handle, this will be an opportunity by Tommaso to do something he enjoys doing, which is taking a direct kick and trying to put it into the net. Wakefield gives 10 yards. Tommaso shoots low. Harmlessly missing the frame. It looked like his idea there was to send a low bouncing ball to the far corner. Not able to connect as well as he liked. Max McCursey touches it forward. Wakefield maintains control. Tiago Gomes calls for a push in the back. Wakefield again, looks to move it quickly. Clint Garahan gets the ball and shows the strength of that left foot of his. Peter Mitri sends it forward. Andreas Cuillard to Don Black. Miles Lehman. Miles controls it in traffic. Slide tackle. But the ball is off. Andreas Cuiar has it. And fortunately does not connect with Don Black. Wakefield on the counterattack. Challenged by Peter Mitri. Don Black controls. Pass back to Peter Mitri. Slayman, forward. Back heel pass. And Don Black with an excellent opportunity engineered there by Miles Lehman, not able to put the ball away. I'm sure he'd like to have that one back. Goal kick for Wakefield. Wakefield play short. Francesco Valagusa into the game now, relieving Miles Slayman. Adrian Black to Max McCursey here. Wellington needs to be careful. Number of Wakefield players forward at this point. And that ball headed out of bounds by Tiago Gomes. Corner kick for the Wakefield Warriors. I may be wrong, but I believe this is their first of the game, possibly their second. Headed by Wakefield, out of bounds. That one looked like Arlington did a good job not letting any of the Wakefield players get a free run at the incoming corner kick. Don Black has the ball. Touches it to Griffin Blotch. Griffin to Tommaso Valagusa. Tommaso to Andreas Cuiar. Andreas looks to cut it back. Stays with the ball. Not able to get the pass through to Griffin Blotch. Then Garahan poke tackle. 
Chicago Gomes on the ball. Looks to move it forward. Looks for Griffin Blotch, another sophomore. Actually, Griffin's a junior. Griffin challenges all the way to the corner. Happy to let Wayfield hold it there. Wayfield smartly plays it off his foot and gets a goal kick. Lloyd Cleary back in the game. Chance for Tommaso Valagusa to get a break. Your midfielders at this point are Lloyd Cleary, Andreas Cuillar, and Tiago Gomes. Wayfield sends the ball forward. Clint Garahan contains it well. Lloyd Cleary on the ball. Francesco. Up the middle, Wakefield sends it. Clear by the Arlington Spy Ponders. Leads to numbers in the other direction for Wakefield. And Wakefield puts the ball into the net. Score now one to one. Peter Dimitri steps forward. Arlington's energy looks like it's been up and down this game. Was up as they scored. Decreased a little bit. Wakefield took advantage. Strong throw in by Clint Garahan. <laughs> Clint Garahan has been demonstrating that he does have a strong throw in. Wakefield able to keep that ball in bounds. Nice tackle by Lloyd. Clean tackle in the box there. Francesco Valagusa. Has the ball, Lloyd Cleary, Tithinia Santello has got some space. Over to Francesco. Francesco out to Lloyd Cleary. Lloyd Cleary looks to play a through ball to Tithinia Santello. Can he get the angle and get it? Well blocked by the Wakefield player. Dimitri looked to tackle high, not able to get there. Now back in the center back position. Adrian Black came over and was able to get the ball out of bounds. Safa Ayad back in the game at one of the center mid positions. Ball into Don Black. Long ball. Francesco Valagusa looking for it. 
but the Wakefield keeper able to control. Max McCursey over to Fran uh, Tommaso Valagusa. Phineas Santello looks across the field. Francesco Valagusa. Clint Garahan on the ball, able to go, poke Clint, it forward, go. and is chasing it, using his speed. Fantastic speed by Clint. He shoots. Oh. Excellent effort on the part of Arlington, unable to convert. Ten moments there for the Wakefield keeper. Ball comes in. Phineas Santello to control. The deep ball. Looks to turn the corner. Does. Sends across. A little bit too much on that one. Don Black controls on the other side. Uh, uh, my mistake. Attempted to control. Wakefield again with a quick throw in. Lloyd Cleary with the ball. Arlington has had a number of quality scoring chances in this game. They've been able to convert on one of them. That ball stopped by Wakefield. Clint Garahan playing strong. Lomi Cleary with the ball. Another strong tackle. Forces Wakefield backwards. Max McCursey shields the ball. And it will be a goal kick with three minutes and approximately 40 seconds left in the first half. <clears throat> Conceivable that Arlington could be up three to one with a couple of excellent scoring chances that they have not been able to convert on. Santello back pass to Peter Mitri. Peter Mitri forward to Francesco Valagusa. The wind has just picked up here in Arlington. The Arlington field is in a section of town that actually can often work like a funnel. Strong winds coming through, usually blowing from right to left on your television screen. That ball lands deep. <laughs> Just over two minutes left in this first half. Today the wind actually looks like it's blowing from left to right. Max McCursey into the middle, Lloyd Cleary heads it, and again. Off Ayat, fends off a challenge, looks to get the ball through beautifully to Miles Lehman. Miles Lehman is challenged, looks to cut it back to his right. Miles to Frances, uh, Tommaso Valagusa, Tommaso to Lloyd Cleary. Lloyd Cleary out to Peter Mitri. Uh, that pass fell into no man's land. Wakefield again looks to turn it quickly. They are a counter attacking team, and Arlington needs to be ready for that. Good tackle on Arlington's part. They cut it back. Peter Mitri with the ball. To Mustafa Ayad. Arlington slows it down a little bit for a second. And a trip there. Ball slicked on by Francesco Valagusa. And put away by Tommaso Valagusa. That looks like there was an assist there. Max McCursey and Arlington with just under two minutes left in the first half manages to notch a go-ahead goal. And goal scored by Tommaso Valagusa. That is his second goal on the season. He also scored in the first game against Watertown.
Wakefield, as they've been showing all game, looks to counterattack. Tomasa Valgusa gets the ball, Lloyd Cleary. Lance Yadzio extols his team to get the ball out, looking to go into the halftime with a two to one lead. Ball forward to Miles Lehman, just out of his reach. It's gonna roll off. This Arlington field is built for drainage. That means that it's ground a little bit in the middle. Ball's on the edge. Do not have a difficult time rolling out of bounds. That throw in called surprisingly for Wakefield. On review, I think it will show that Lloyd Cleary managed to hit it off of the Wakefield player. Clint Garahan touches it left. And that's our halftime. With a late goal in the half, Arlington takes the lead two to one. Arlington has scored two goals. It has been the Valagusa brothers, Francesco and Tommaso, each notching one of the goals. This is Acme Sports here at Pierce Field in Arlington, Massachusetts. No way, really? As we begin the second half of the Wakefield Warriors against the Arlington Spy Ponders, Arlington has broken their pre-half huddle. Arlington will start with the ball, moving from left to right. Tommaso Valagusa quickly with the ball, up to Phineas. Phineas looks to go by on the right. Uses his speed to back heel it. Back to Phineas. Phineas cuts in. Sends the ball over to Lloyd Cleary. Lloyd touches it out. Cannot be controlled and kept in by Miles Lehman. The ball did stay in. Wakefield looks to turn it quickly. I would expect that Wakefield will be looking for an equalizer as fast as possible. Their style does seem to be counter punching. Ball touch forward, foot race. And the Wakefield keeper able to corral the ball before Francesco Valagusa could get there. We'll start the second half. Francesco, able to get a foot on the ball, but not enough power. Lloyd Cleary was looking for a pass forward. Wakefield in control, hunting the ball out. Tiago Gomes gets the ball. Max McCursey now, looking for Miles Lehman. Miles heads the ball forward. Miles Lehman controls, looks to chip the ball Forward to Phineas Santello, who touches the ball into the middle. Looking for a cutting Francesco Velagusa. Wakefield quick throw in from the keeper. Gets it into the middle. Miles Lehman back, controls the ball again. Miles looking for Francesco Velagusa. Francesco all alone, not getting support. Francesco able to make a move down the line. Cuts it back in, and the ball is touched out of bounds. Balling quickly. Wakefield able to turn. Video Santello streaking to the ball. 
not able to get it. Arlington is trying to keep the pressure up here in the second half. They started the first half in a similar fashion. Ball quickly in again by Wakefield. Tomasa Valagusa challenges. Contact is made. Call against Tomaso. His strong challenge not rewarded. Wakefield looks for the ball. Deep. Lloyd Clary heads it forward. Ball chipped over everyone. Ben Wasco gets it out quickly to Tiago Gomes. Tiago touches it to Finia Santello. They look for the give and go. Intercepted. Tiago does recover it, gets it back to Phineas. Scrum in the middle. Lloyd Cleary looks to switch fields wisely. Phineas calls for the ball. Tries to chip it, misses Lloyd Cleary, who will, of course, still try to win it back. Mustafa challenges, gets it to Phineas. Phineas Santello seems to really be appreciating an opportunity to do yeah. as many back heel passes as he can today. This direct kick will be taken by Tiago Gomes, number 25. Tiago sends the ball in. It's bobbled in front. Cleared by Wakefield. Looking to go the other way quickly. Lloyd Cleary. Gets the ball back to Max McCursey. And the ball is kicked out of bounds by Wakefield. Miles Lehman with the throw in to Andreas Cuiar. Andreas with the ball. Was hoping that Miles Lehman would have made a cut in there, it looks like. They were not on the same page. Cleary, good touch. Vinia Santello controls in the middle to Francesco Valagusa. Francesco, nice cutback. Tacks the, touches the ball through to Miles Lehman. Should be able to get it in bounds. He does. Looking for support, gets it from Lloyd Cleary. Lloyd's one of those players who rarely seems to tire. Big turn by Francesco Valagusa and misses just a bit high and wide to the right. Field keeps the ball. Lloyd Cleary continues to challenge. Miles Lehman looking to get back on D. Clint Garahan looks to contain. Wakefield sends the ball out of bounds. Keeper Ben Wasco looks like he stands about six foot three. Maybe a touch taller than that. Seemed to be ready for the ball in the air and let it go harmlessly into the back of the net. Miles Lehman cuts through. He's got Phineas Santella wide if he chooses it to hit it. Once again, a golden opportunity for Arlington. 
stopped by a hustling Wakefield defense. Ball taken from Mustafa Ayad by Wakefield. Again, looking to hustle the other way. Tomasa Valagusa, as fast as he can, goes to challenge it. Max McCursey able to get it out of bounds. Arlington able to get some players back. The center mids are back. Tomasa Valagusa heads it out. Wakefield looks to chip it back in. Tiago Gomes says, no, thank you. Heads it the other way. Andreas Cuiar with strong pressure earns a throw in for Arlington. Oh, I'm sorry, that was not Andreas, that was Francesco Velagusa. Coming in now for Tiago Gomes is Peter Mitri. Peter Mitri had started at right back, given his first break of the game with an extended halftime. Vinia Santello, big throw in, looks for Tomasa Velagusa, hits him in the head. Miles Lehman gets the ball. Cuts it back to his left, turns, hits a hard shot, and gets a goal. <laughs> Tough low shot for the Wakefield keeper. Miles. Miles Lehman's dominant foot is his right. He cut it back with his left. <laughs> and very skillfully put it in. Score now, three to one. Approximately 30 minutes left in the game. The Arlington Spike Ponders lead the Wakefield Warriors. Phineas Santello heads the ball forward. <laughs> Mustafa Ayad uses his excellent shielding skills to control the ball. Miles Lehman had it, was looking to chip it over the tall Wakefield defenders and was not able to. Wakefield has the ball, it's going the other way. And look, there's Mustafa Ayad quickly coming back, looks for Phineas Santello who decides to try speed, his favorite tool, crosses the ball into the center, nobody there. I think he'd like that one back. Tommaso Velaguza there. His brother has two goals. Would not be surprised if Tommaso would like to equal his brother. Tommaso has one goal at this point. Arlington has scored nine goals this season, five of them by one of the Valagusa brothers. Peter sends the ball into Phineas Santello, who's unfortunately called off sides. Field sends the ball in long to their left forward. Peter Mitri challenges. Phineas Santello keeps it in with a back heel. Mustafa Ayad looking for a streaky Miles Lehman was not able to hit him. Miles Lehman would like a have now. But Wakefield, strong defense, gave him no place to put it between the Wakefield trees. Strong control in the middle by Mustafa Ayad. Miles Lehman gets the ball from Francesco Valagusa. A try from Miles Lehman for long. Goalie holds it and punts it away cleanly. Headed forward by Lloyd Cleary. Miles Lehman looks to turn. Wakefield challenges, has the ball going the other way. They'll have a throw in here, a couple of subs coming in. Andreas Cuiar comes in for Lloyd Cleary. Wakefield also subbing.
Wakefield trying to press up the right side right now. Tomasa Balagusa clears the ball strongly. Francesco Valagusa gets the ball, is pushed in the back, but manages to maintain control. Phineas Santella was calling for it. He's got Peter Mitri. Peter Mitri gets it up to Mustafa. Mustafa with a little bit more foot, I think, than he intended. Hits it to where the Wakefield keeper is able to get it, and again, throw it out quickly. Clint Garahan chooses to let the ball bounce out of bounds. He'll take a throw in. Clint has been showing this season he has one of the stronger throw ins on the team. Here he uses his skills to place it. Arlington maintains control. Unfortunately, loses it there. Wakefield controls along the back line. Wakefield deserves credit. They do not look like they're panicking. They feel like they have time. Phineas gets the ball forward to Miles Lehman. And Miles not able to get it to Andreas Cuiar. Mustafa Aya challenges as the ball is touched out. And keeper Ben Wasco pulls the ball in for Arlington. Big punt by Ben. It's going to bounce over the Wakefield players. Francesco Valagusa is able to keep it in bounds. Looks for Miles Lehman. Mustafa Ayad has it. He's got a left foot there. And I think it was time to, to hit that one quickly. Call against Wakefield, I believe, for a push in the back. Wakefield player does not agree with the call. It looks like he and the ref will have a quick word. Andreas Guiar will take the direct kick. He requests the 10 yards that one is given. On a football field, it's always easy to tell. Right now, I'd call that nine yards, eight yards. Arlington tried to be tricky and go low, and they've earned a throw in for Arlington. Arlington, big throw in. Max McCursey steps up, keeps the ball in the box. Andreas Cuiar has it. Ball's touched up high, and the Wakefield keeper will be able to pull that in. 24 minutes left in the game. And this one looks like it's headed out of bounds. Another throw in for Arlington. <laughs> Ball's going through. Max McCursey wisely decides to just get it out of bounds to stop the fleet Wakefield attackers. Wakefield brings in three subs. Arlington subs in, I believe that's Will Clifford, number 19. Actually, actually that's number 16 at this point. I'm not sure which player it is. Wakefield turns, sends the ball out of bounds. Finney has the ball. He's going in against the goalie. Ah, the goalie able to stop him. Goalie was out. Looked like Finney has tried to cut around him to the left. One of many good opportunities Arlington has had today. 
not able to convert. Francesco Valagusa to Mustafa. Mustafa cuts it back. Touches it forward to Phineas. Phineas again decides to use his speed to try and beat the player around the corner. Wakefield looks to control. Mustafa challenges. Ball to Andreas. Andreas to Phineas. Phineas has the ball. And earns a corner kick for the Spy Ponders. Wakefield's charging, they have numbers. Ball is kicked over. Goalie Ben Wasco has the ball. And wisely played out of bounds by number three. Clint Garahan. Wakefield looking for a call there. Looked like the goalie actually got the ball first. And the leaping Wakefield player made contact. No foul called. <laughs> Peter Mitri looks to contain. Wakefield has the ball. Tries a quick kick. Keeper Ben Wasco has the ball. Twenty minutes left in the game. Big kick by Ben Wasco. Headed initially by Wakefield. Uh, number 16 into the game actually is Emmett Foster. <laughs> Emmett's foster brother, Jackson Foster, was a senior last year and one of the high scorers for the Spy Ponders in a strong season of 2015. Emmett is a junior. Did not play for the high school last year. In soccer, he actually played football. Don Black has come on for Phineas Santello. And has an opportunity here. He's able to control it. Looks like it's going to go out of bounds. Short ship by the goalie. Wakefield passes back, looks to clear. Clint Garahan overplayed that one a little bit, but able to get back with speed and touch it out of bounds. Arlington looks to attack. Andreas to Miles. Miles, nice through ball to Andreas. Andreas has an opportunity here. It's strong. Tries to chip the goalie and manages to do it. What an excellent through ball from Miles. What a great chip by Andreas. Nice job by the Arlington attack there. The score is now four to one. This is the most goals Arlington has scored in a game to this point in the season. Eighteen minutes left in the game. These are eighty-minute games. 
not 90 minute games as this announcer previously thought. It looks like on left wing we now have Griffin Blotch in the game. Up four to one, Coach Lanciazio will look to rest some of his starters and give some of the reserves an opportunity for game experience. Throwing forward by Wakefield. Adrian Black did an excellent job there of using both skill and strength to take control of the ball, turn it, and get it out. Field looks to control and keep it in. They do. But now, out of bounds, it'll be a throw in for Clint Garahan, looking to throw in quickly. However, Arlington is subbing. Senior Nochika Patek will come in and sub out Miles Lehman. Challenge by Nachikit leads to a throw in for Arlington. Clint Garahan looking for Griffin Blotch. Lloyd Cleary keeps it in bounds, sends it forward to Andreas Cuiar. Andreas to uh, Tommaso Valagusa. Tommaso to Lloyd Cleary. Lloyd Cleary back to Clint Garahan. Clint Garahan sends it forward. And Nachikit and Don Black challenge for it. Don Black has the ball. Chipped forward by Nachikit to Don Black. Don Black controls. Peter Mitri comes forward. Andreas Cuiar has the ball. Not sure what the call is there. Yeah, it looked like a backwards pass. I'm not sure how a backwards pass would be offsides, but that is the call. Chica controls. Swings the ball to Griffin Blotch. Or Peter Mietitri does. Behind Lloyd Cleary. Wakefield looking to challenge. Adrian Black not able to stop that one. Comes back. Uh, golden opportunity here for Wakefield. They take a shot. And Ben Wasco uses his large frame to go down, stop the ball on the ground. Big, big punt by Ben, using the wind in this situation. That could go all the way to the, go, uh, to the keeper on the other side. This could be in the, that goal was scored by Ben Wasco. A punt by Ben Wasco was not handled by the Wakefield's keeper. Juan has to always be sympathetic to any keeper in that position. He was looking into the sun. There was an unexpected tailwind. That goal does go into the books as a goal. Very unusual circumstance by keeper Ben Wasco.
After the timeout, ball is going back and forth. New keeper for Arlington. New keeper for Arlington is Henry Fox Jerkowitz. First time in goal this season. With a 5-1 to one lead, Arlington Spy Ponders coach Lance Yazio has an excellent opportunity to get the reserves some quality game experience against this fleet Wakefield team. Tomasa Valagusa, Lloyd Cleary in the game, Adrian uh, Black there, Max McCursey, Peter Mitri. Back line able to control the ball, get it forward. Richie get Patek challenges. Mustafa Ayad. Griffin Blotch. And I believe that's number 18, Wyatt DuPont, in for Clint Garahan at left back. Thrown by Wyatt, up to Griffin. Griffin heads it forward. Mustafa controls it, keeps it in. Chases now, puts pressure on Wakefield. Wakefield back to their keeper. Keeper chips it out. Tomasa Velagusa chests it, gets it moving forward again. And this looks like it's gonna be a throw in for Arlington. Dupont controls it. Looks for Mustafa Ayad in the center of the field. Mustafa so excellent at playing the second ball. Got it back after it was mishandled by Wakefield. Gets it forward to Griffin Blotch. Griffin, good left-footed attempt to get it into the center. Cheek had a foot on it. Don Black now looking to bring it down. Gets a good ball over the top for Wakefield. Max McCursey. Adrian Black, contain it, looking for the overlap. It's not there for Wakefield. They're pulling it back, looking wide now to Wyatt DuPont's side. Wakefield tries to touch it forward, late, uh, late Cleary challenges. Wyatt DuPont out to Griffin Blotch. Wakefield tries to keep it into their offensive half of the field. Adrian Black chips it out. And a call there, I believe it's on Griffin Blotch. Direct kick, it'll be a long one. For Wakefield. Throwing for Wakefield. <laughs> it's 
also Villagusa called for a push in the back. Wakefield for the direct kick. They play it low. Don Black coming back to help on defense. Got his foot on the ball. I'm sorry, Nachika Patek. Sign of smart play when you're up five to one. Striker comes back, gives a little help on defense. Offense not the priority. Lloyd Cleary, however, looks to play it forward to Don Black. Don Black loses it in the center. Lloyd Cleary trying to gain it back. Does. Plays the ball forward to Nachikit. Nachikit out to Griffin Blotch. Uh, just a bit unlucky. Arlington's looking to sub in. Wakefield's not subbing in right now, so the subs will have to wait. Another throw in for Wakefield. And Arlington now able to sub. Coming back into the game is Phineas Santello. Jeremiah Jacob Dolan coming in for the first time in this game. So for the first time, player number 21. Jeremiah Jacob Dolan. Challenges. Wayfield's going to try and get it out. Ball touched out by number 21. I can only guess who that might be. There's a chance it's Charlie Sanders. Play forward by Wakefield. They're looking to capitalize. On uh, the number of subs that Arlington now has in the game. Mustafa Ayad controls in the middle. Ball's played forward. And the Wakefield keeper is able to pull it in. Challenged by Jeremiah Jacob Dolan. Peter Mitri. Touches the ball a bit harder than he wanted to. Now he gets this one forward to Nachika Patek. Nice touch by Nachika. Lloyd Cleary looking to control in the middle. Wyatt Dupont touches it over to Mustafa Ayad. Mustafa up to number 21. And your announcer apologizes for not having a full roster available today. Nice ball out by Lloyd Cleary. And this looks like it's going to be a throw in for Arlington. Chikit does not get the call there. Out of bounds by Wakefield. 
Max McCursey finds Jeremiah Jacob Dolan in the middle. Jeremiah looks to control the ball, not able to bring it in. McField trying to play a through ball. Max McCursey was ready for it. Emmett Foster looking to challenge Wakefield back line. Jeremiah to Emmett. Emmett to Jeremiah. Jeremiah back to Emmett. Emmett trying to use his speed here. And the Wakefield defender is forced to kick it out of bounds. Approximately three minutes left in the game. Wakefield now bringing in a number of subs. Milan Sands again. The ball, number 15. One of his first touches in the game as he has come in as a reserve. Peter Mitri looks for an a chicken. Wakefield clears. And Wakefield kicks it harmlessly out of bounds. <laughs> Scores five to one. Lloyd Cleary still playing with the same intensity he starts a game with. A corner kick earned for Wakefield. Good effort there by Wakefield. Lent into the corner. Peter Mitri able to get it out. Played back in. Max McCursey then able to get it out. Peter Mitri again moving the ball out of harm's way. And unfortunately, Elon, Elon Sands Gant will be called for that one. It looked like it was excitement more than anything else. He was rushing for the ball. Always fun when you're a defender and you have a chance to move forward. We saw earlier an excellent opportunity in the first half by Clint Garahan, who has played multiple positions. Coming up. Nice stop there by Henry Fox Jerkowitz. Henry Fox Jerkowitz pulled that one in safely on a good try by the Wakefield offense. And that's the game. Your final score, Arlington Spy Ponders five, Wakefield Warriors one. Goals four, the Arlington Spy Ponders were scored by Francesco Valagusa, Tommaso Valagusa, then Francesco Valagusa, fourth goal scored by Andreas Cuiar, and finally an unusual goal scored by the Arlington keeper, Ben Wasco, on a towering punt that bounced in a very tricky way for the Wakefield keeper. With the sun in his eyes, he was not able to pull it in, and it bounced into the goal for the fifth and final goal for Arlington. I am Mark Santello. Thank you for listening today on behalf of myself and our camera woman, Danuta Ayad. This is Acme Sports here in Arlington.